pooped. <laughs> but Sean still got energy. <laughs> we have went through the Dollar Tree like aisle for aisle. I got stuff that wasn't even on my form. Okay. But that's okay. I'm going to go back through my list when I get home and see what I did and what I didn't do. What if I told you that there is a simple way for you to put management systems in place? What if I told you that there are lists, that there are patterns that you can follow, like a blueprint that will help you accomplish putting management systems in place in your business? Well, all right, you guys, this is Dr. Andrea Dickerson here, and I'm excited about our Jumpstart School of Systems. And today I want to share with you a portion of our course. So I want to talk to you because recently I took an amazing trip to our Dollar Tree store. I had in my mind that I would possibly need to visit other stores to get everything that was on the list. So here I have my list from my Jumpstart School of Systems. And guys, it's not a lot, but this list is a game changer. I think I talked about this list a few um, videos ago. And I talked about having my real item real and found material list and on this real and found material list i went through and i prepped myself for the journey i printed it out front and back i prepped myself for the journey and i got a chance to go to my local dollar tree store and get my heart's desire on product so i'm gonna take you behind the scenes so that you can see what it's like to really have a blueprint a plan and how you can organize your business, put management systems in place, get the right resources that will help your business fill in the gap. All right, guys, I am now in the Dollar Tree with my list. And they're going to shine. <laughs> All right, guys. So I know that. So I'm going to get two for my classrooms. That I know are county, and I'm gonna get two of each color. So, you know, get us a buggy. Yes, because these can become counters. So, these for counters. Okay. It'll still be good if I get it. Um, so, one of the things I'm gonna get that's, on the, that's not on my list, but I see them, are cute little flip flops. You know, because these can be in a dramatic play area. For dress up, well, do I want this? No, I don't want this. Oh, but I like they little sunglasses. Oh, they so cute. Okay, let me focus. So I like these as um, counters. So I'm gonna get me a few of these because these can be counters to hold a lot of my little small things. So I'm gonna get me some of these. Hold the camera for me, LaShawn. Which will come this way? Yep. Um, let's see. I'm gonna get me one of each one for all the classrooms and make a little fake flower section. Um, you got these. So the first area I stopped was when I walked through the door, there were these, um, these pool hoses. And so I can't think of the name of them, guys. The noodles. Yeah, the noodles. Um, and so when I walked in, I was able to grab some noodles because I could think of so many activities that I can do with the noodles. And right here on my list, it told me exactly what to grab. And I was able to mark things off and go throughout the store and, and really supplement my child care centers. And it's so important that you discover ways to supplement your center without having to spend thousands and thousands of dollars because these are what we call consumables. And so these items will be utilized in your program. They will be damaged. They will be lost. They will be taken home. They will be swept up. They will be thrown away. 
So when you have so many consumables in our industry, it's best that you utilize real and found materials that's in your home, in your Dollar Tree, in your Dollar General, Fred's, whatever you call it, wherever you, you may live right now. But I spent less than, I spent a lot, but for me to cover a center that can house up to 100 students, to me, I felt like I did really good. So I spent a, about $700. So let's go behind the scenes so I can show you what it was like. Okay, so now let me tell you about scissors. So what you want to do is you want to watch for the tip of the scissors, especially when you're getting them for childcare. So like these scissors, look at the age group. So if your state inspector walked in, they're going to be looking at the size of the scissors, the point of the scissors. I know mine did. So I kind of like watch for that. And this will do good for like school age. So I'll get me a few for school age just so I can have some. And then for my younger kids, I'll get these. Oh, see, look, these are, are very good. And then these are for the little babies, the little ones. So you get a few like this. Oh, LaShawn, help me. Which one? Yeah. All these. Mm -hmm. Okay. In this cord. I probably did, but yes, pick up some. Would you want up. the larger ones? Or mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. Get the large ones if you can find any more like them. One packet. One packet of large. We'll probably find some more. Oh, look at this. Look at what we found, LaShawn. Hold this for me. All right. So instead of me getting all the trays, I'm just gonna get um, trays that will match my centers. Um, this is really good counting counters. So I feel good about this. Um, so I'm gonna go through them because my center doesn't have anything pink. Um, doesn't have anything of the other colors. So I know blue will look good in my centers. Um, and I think I'll get a little bit of this orange. Mm -hmm. But I normally um, do my trays based on the colors. Okay, so let me count these out. see what else we got that will be really nice as counters for the classroom this is like some type of protective wrap for your boards if I need it I'll come back so I'll get stuff like this as counters um, magnets these will be Mm -hmm. <laughs> you already picked them up. <laughs> so I'm going to get um, magnets as counters. And is that a whole pack of eight down there right there, though, Coach? What? Is that the same size? A pack of eight right oh, there. Oh, yes, it is. <laughs> Ooh, you sharp girl you sharp 
put these right on back. <laughs> that way you ain't got to get a whole lot of them. Right. Let's see what we got. Set these right here. Ooh, and we got black. Mm-hmm. Should be red down there, too. Good bingo chips. <laughs> you make good bingo chips. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, LaShawn. We came in the store. <laughs> and enjoyed ourselves. Yes. It's a lot. Oh, They used to have the look giant the erasers, the very erasers. You can use. No, I don't see them no more. All right, so I had the opportunity to shop with one of my Jumpstart School Assistant students, um, LaShawn. She and I went together and we had an amazing time together. She really helped me to find items and uh, we had four buggies of things. And so I was able to pick up things like hair accessories, noodles, silverware. So instead of us using just the traditional um, plastic um cups and spoons that you would buy from like discount school supply we got real sized items so we were able to go into the dollar tree find plates um bowls um cutlery whisk spatulas i mean just the whole nine guys we were able to go into the dollar store and find the items that we needed we even did some tr non-traditional things for like the art area um, of course, I got um, containers so I can use paint, and um, I was able to pick up small little paint bottles that could go in each center. So I got red, yellow, blue, green, purple, orange, black. All right, so, so far I got clothespins, erasers, I need to get some barrettes, fabric brand, bands, I got paper clips, I need to get some flowers. Some silverware, some seashells. Seashells would have been on this aisle, ain't it? Mm-mm. Oh, the app. Floor. Floor? Okay. So, let's go get something from the floor. Section. You got it? I got it. Wait a minute. There we go. What you find? A little coffee sign. This ain't on my list, but it's a cute little coffee sign. Mm -hmm. Oh, my goodness. The little mirror. It'll be nice. Even science or dramatic play, even one. And then this is like more little mirrors. Let me see what's on my list, because most of everything I got ain't even on my list. So I'm gonna try to stick to my list. He said seashells. You see them? Look on the other side. Look them. Oh no, they don't see. I thought they were on the other side. Oh my goodness. Uh -huh. We missed this whole section. Wait a minute. Look at this whole section. Okay. Seashells. Well, you thought you seen them? Thought they was right here, but that's potpourri. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's go around. So we gotta go back. <laughs> back around. No. Mm -mm. Should've been on that side. For all season. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at the flowers. Okay. Let's see. He did say seeds. What type of seeds? Oh, yes. Plenty of seeds right here. What's a flower rocket? Oh, you just set it in there so we can get a few of these for the science area. Okay. Now throw that in the buggy. And then 
um, you got um, wildflower blend. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's enough for seeds instead of going to science area. And then some silk flowers. So we got a plethora to choose from. Oh, let me just start picking. I like these. I like these. I like yellow. So you got your purple and violet up that way. Yes. Peach. These pretty blues. Okay. All right. Put this in the buggy. Okay, you can cut it off. You were able to also find t-shirts glidden so you know what right now people are selling t-shirts for 35 and up well we found t-shirts for a dollar so what i do is um for my preschool classroom we buy oversized shirts for the art area and so this system helps us with preserving the children's clothing and then we utilize oversized shirts in our infant and toddler rooms when we are and this is our older infants okay so when we are serving lunch, we utilize t-shirts instead of the bibs. And the reason being is because when toddlers are learning how to eat, they eat with their hands. And we are giving them utensils and, and being intentional about showing them how to eat with utensils. However, they will put that spoon or whatever utensil you're using down and they will grab with their hands and so because they're using their hands so much a bib just did not provide the proper coverage so we would use large t-shirts and so to be able to find these large t-shirts um inside of the dollar tree was dynamite all right okay guys so right here they have these dollar shirts I'm going to take these dollar shirts and put these in a the paint section because these are better than aprons. These help protect the whole child, even down to their pants. So I'm going to get me a few of these and I'm going to give them different colors for the different classrooms. So I got two for my toddler, my, my pre-K room. Okay, this is the paint section. And normally we don't have that many painting at a time. All right, and so I'm going to grab these for my two-year-olds. It's, it looked like it fit them just right. Mm -hmm. So I might need to go a little bigger, huh? I'll keep these for a little infant, a little taller one. So let me see what these red ones look like. Oh, this red one can fit me! <laughs> um, I'm trying to find some that match. Trying to go that match so each classroom will know which ones is theirs, you know? Mm -hmm. Trying to find some for like my little toddler twos. And if I can't, I'll just go back to the. Oh, let's see what we got in this orange. Okay, no. <sighs> nope. I know I'm going to get me um, two bags for one dramatic play. Hold on, guys. We coming. So, I think what I got to do, I think I'm going to use these for my school ages. Because they paint and they messy. You wouldn't think that a, a four or five-year-old would be messy. But they are. Let me see. I don't know if I'm going to come across. Here come another blue. I had a blue in my hand. Okay, here we go. I got my T2. I got my T1. And I got my pre-K. So that's for, for um, set. You get a pair of the black ones just to put in. Dramatic plates so they can practice. Putting them on, taking them off. Okay. Whew, what else can I get for dramatic play? All right, so for school-age girls, I pull out little rollers like these because I get them hair wigs. So this will be good for them. 
in their dramatic play area. Um, of course, they need combs, brushes. Let's see if they have any of that here. It's on, it's on down. Huh? It's on down. It's on down. and comb is down this way. Guys, I'm telling you, I'm filling up a whole center, so that's why I need all the buggy space I can get. Okay, and so now we And have so the other thing that we use our um, t-shirts for is for grouping and color coding. So we color code which classroom has what shirt so that if it's in the dryer or the wash, you know what pair of shirts belong to you. You know what pair of shirts belong to you, and that helps us keep our um, classrooms responsible for their own items. All right, and so there are a few other things that I'm going to go to other Dollar Trees and pick up. This stuff was found in the Dollar Tree, and I'm excited that I was able to, to have this list to make me think outside of the, the box. Things like aluminum foil, we got balls, beads, buttons. Um, clothes, pins, so a few other things I could go back and get, but we got combs, brushes, um, cotton balls, elastic. It's so many things like kids can paint with fly swatters. I mean, guys, if you have not gone into the Dollar Tree, you're missing it, and you may not know just how easy it is to find items that will really work for your child care program if you don't have systems. So that leads me to closing out today's um, video. I hope that you enjoyed looking around the store with me, seeing the shopping experience, looking at the items that I was able to pick up and use in a commercial childcare setting. Of course, you want to make sure that they meet your rules and regs. But for the most part, it's the Dollar Tree is a great place for organization of your centers and manips in your centers. And guys, we found so much. But again, sometimes you don't know what you need because you don't have a guide, you don't have um, a blueprint, and you don't have a strategy. So I want to encourage you to get my amazing guide. It is called the Jumpstart Planner. This is for child care business owners that are building management systems. And guys, as you all know, Andrea starts a daycare television show. Web, web series will be coming out. And so in that web series, I'm walking you the behind the scenes of me putting my child care program into play. And what I love about this list is that it gives you, you know, step by step what you should be doing, what you should be setting up in your organization and so it talks about creating your dollar tree buying guide and the reason why i thought that that would be a great thing to add is because there are times where you have to refresh your room and so if you're watching and you need to refresh your room guess how much easier it would be if you had a dollar tree guide you could just go into the store follow your list get items check it off and you'll be well on your way. And so that's how I'm able to start a program within 90 days and get it where you can come and take a tour and see the systems and and um, really just see a classroom that is operated with systems, what that looks like. But if you are interested, you definitely can get you a ticket. Um, ticket sales will be ending this month. And so right now we're in the month of June. So if you haven't gotten your ticket, don't wait. Go and get your tickets right now. You can go to www. Jump. I'm sorry. www. Systems to the rescue. com. But we are in the last month. However, you can become a part of what we're doing, where you can see systems in action. So, if you are interested in attending my childcare program and seeing my Jumpstart School of Systems in action and what classrooms should look like when you're running them based on systems you will have a distinct look and you will have a different layout than a lot of businesses because they don't use systems. So if you want to see what these things look like and meet me live in a small group setting, 
take advantage of this opportunity. This is the last tour stop of the year, the first and the last of the year of its type. So you don't want to miss it. You could go to www.systemstotherescue.com and become a part of what we're doing by getting your tickets and meeting us in my hometown, in my child care program. And then there's one bonus day where you can spend time with us on Sunday at a Sunday service and receive a spiritual impartation. Sometimes it's your answer is on the other side of what you don't do. And so if you don't spend time praying, listening, and reading, and meditating, that may be a place where you have blockage. And so Pastor Kay and I, we offer spiritual impartation um, during a Sunday service. We pray with you. We come in agreement with you and we break strongholds that keep you from really manifesting and going into the place of success where you truly desire to be in your business. So don't miss this amazing opportunity. It is the first and the last of its type. Only one time am I doing this. So go get your tickets now. www.systems to the rescue.com. All right, guys, I enjoyed myself at the dollar store. I was absolutely tired afterwards, but I'll do it for you guys every single time. Love you all. Bye-bye.